good day viewers and thank you for joining us. Of course this morning we're here to talk about the international launch of Lucian Carnival in Miami. And this is the third consecutive year that the St. Lucia Tourism Authority has teamed up with the Ministry of Tourism along with the Carnival Planning Management Agency and St. Lucia, St. Lucia's Consulate General in Miami to showcase St. Lucia's rich culture and of course Lucian Carnival. So we're gearing up for the 2025 launch scheduled to take place on Friday the 11th of October in Miami and this morning with me is none other than Mr. Dexter Pussil. He's the head of marketing at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority and we also have Mr. Mara Gibson. She is the chairperson of the Carnival Planning Management Committee and this morning we will talk a little bit more about Carnival and what it is we're heading out to do. Uh, Mr. Pussil, I believe I can throw to you this morning. Yeah. We saw the momentum from Lucian Carnival 2024, the impact of the influencers, the growing numbers, and of course, I believe we allowed the visitors to speak for themselves in stating that St. Lucia is one of the fastest growing destination carnivals. Your take on that? No, absolutely. Um, when you look at St. Lucia, if I may say, go back, uh, things, we are willing some momentum um, from Julian's Alfred and to the, the Kings winning the, the recent trophy. And if I trail back now to Carnival, Carnival last year or this year was really successful. Um, the approach that we took was one with a point of differentiation where we focus heavily on the influencers. Um, it's a new day for marketing. It's a new era of marketing. So we have to be able to create touch points where we can really tap into the audience and ensure that we produce the product and ensure that we have visitors coming to our destination. Now, not just Carnival. Overall, the cultural element of St. Lucia the St. Lucia Tourism Authority continues to push that in the marketplace. Can you tell us some of the new initiatives that are ongoing? No, absolutely. Working with the CPMC, you could have seen that there was a strong differentiation in what we have done this year from the kiddies to the pan. And we, we really went out to ensure that we build the momentum for Carnival. There was a clear recruitment strategy with the school tour and a lot of the initiatives that they did that would be the Carnival part of our, our culture and ingrained in our society. Part of what we really want to see is for the month of the carnival season, we really want to see within society, everybody's participating because after all, it's a huge cultural platform and it's also a very strong economic impact for our economy. So we really want to make sure that whatever we do, it resonates very well with our community, with society and for the economy at large. Absolutely. And um, in preparation for the launch on Friday, October 11th, of course, there is a differentiation strategy this year. Can you tell us what can be expected in um, Florida? Um, for St. Lucia, it's important that we, we export um, what we offer. Um, if you look at in our service um, industry or in our manufacturing, we, we do lots of export of goods and services. But when it comes to the culture, the music that we produce from St. Lucia is very unique. It's very rich in its entity. And it's important that we, we at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority offers the artists that platform where they can showcase and have an avenue so that the world can see what we can produce. So this year we are focusing on ensuring that the, the music from St. Lucia, our bouillon, our, our really differentiator within the Caribbean, that beat, that infectious melody that we have to offer is what we're going to take over to Miami this year to showcase St. Lucia's Carnival 2025 as a platform of what we have to offer. Now you said bouillon, bouillon is a brand on its own. You know? Yes. <laughs> so you meant to say Denry segment. Denry segment. <laughs> That, the that segment that is segment. organic. Yes, that segment. organic. Yeah, yeah, the Henry segment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So over in Florida, of course, the team intends to focus on the launch event on Friday, the 11th of October. This will draw um, trade, diaspora, media, and influencers uh, so that we can ensure that St. Lucia Carnival, or Lucian Carnival, rather, is being positioned and that the messaging can continue to be showcased. So the artists that Dexter mentioned who would be traveling to Miami will be participating in several events, that being the launch, where you would see the likes of Ezra, Imran Nudi, Sidil, Shemiji, Umpa, Silbans, and Arthur Allen. There are other events including Entice, No Borders, Scotch and Spice, Revel Nation, the Miami Carnival Showcase being the main carnival concert after the parade, uh, Stink and Dirty, which is a morning juve event, and then you have Jamboree. So this is a platform that the artists will have to showcase St. Lucia's music, the soca, the denry segment, 
and of course allow that music to resonate internationally. I'm going to throw over to Madam Chair, Ms. Tamara Gibson. Hearing the conversation this morning, of course, we would have had several discussions to bring this to life. Mm -hmm. What is your take on what is about to happen in Florida? Well, Lucian Carnival is now the largest growing summer festival in the region. And most of our visitors are from the North America, from the American market. So Miami Carnival, we know, is one of the most prominent U.S. carnivals. Um, and it attracts many revelers from the U.S. as well as the rest of the world. So what better time than for us to launch, do our international launch of Lucian Carnival. With all those carnival lovers descending on Miami, it is a, an opportune time for St. Lucia to showcase what we have to offer. Also, we have to know that Miami Carnival is actually one of the last carnivals in the season, in the rotation of carnivals. So it is a time where carnival goers start to plan where will they visit next, in, especially the international travelers. It's not something that they do, they get up to there and decide they're going. Most persons, they need at least six to nine months to prepare for their travel. So the, um, the, the SLTA um, embarking on this launch at this time, I think it's very strategic. We at the CPMC support this venture we, we think that it, is, it, it helps us grow our carnival every year. We've been doing this for, this is our third year, I believe, and we have seen the progress. We've definitely, coming out of 2024, we can, we def, there is no way that we can deny that the marketing strategy has not been working. So we definitely support it. Um, this year, we, I know we have changed the strategy a bit in that we're taking an array of artists to Miami this year, as Dexter just mentioned. So it's important to give our artists an opportunity to perform internationally, for people to, to experience what we have to offer, what our culture is. And that really solidifies our Lucian music and our Lucian carnival. And it gives persons an opportunity to want to experience firsthand what we have to offer in St. Lucia. The CPMC also um, it's very, um, we're very supportive of this venture because it is, it forms part of our plan to grow Lucian Carnival and of course the tourism sec sector by extension. So we, we, we wish the team the best and we know we will see the results in the coming months. Um, but I think it's also important for me to state that the local <coughs> launch of St. Lucia Carnival, Lucian Carnival will be in the very early in 2025. At that time, we will say what all the new initiatives are for Lucian Carnival at that time and also get the locals more involved and let them know what is going to happen for 2025. Thank you so much, Ms. Gibson. No, it's, a, it's important uh, what Ms. Gibson did mention because <coughs> Miami being the hub and you got all the, the last array of carnival yeah. being happening there. It's important that we, we showcase the brand within that platform. We're really looking to make sure that we, we put up a good foot, foot in so that the numbers will show come June and July for 2025. And it's just so amazing what the branding can do. We were wearing our branding last year at the parade and people were like, oh my gosh, St. Lucia, I want to come. I see your carnival. I want to come next year. Yes. Yes. And it just so happened that we bumped into some of them. Mm -hmm because they truly wanted to come. Yeah. We bumped yes. into some at the airport when we were leaving and they said, next year I'm coming to St. Lucia. Yes. So it just shows, you know, when you're out there and you're in the space, yes. the influence that you can have. So taking the artists along with us, we're very excited about that. But it would be remiss of us not to say thank you to the carnival bands who have supported, or who we also continue to support. We took them up to Miami in 2022 and again in 2023, where they were able to showcase the offerings of the mm -hmm. bands, their private parties, yes. the road events as well. So that too is one aspect of Carnival. The music is another aspect that helps to drive. Mm -hmm. And there are so many other elements and I hope that over time, everybody could get an opportunity to showcase internationally. So we just wanna say thank you to everybody again for supporting St. Lucia Tourism Authority, CPMC, the Ministry of, of Tourism. Of, of course, they're responsible for promoting culture 
and um, collectively we will continue to grow and we will continue to do a fabulous job. So I want to say thank you again and goodbye for now. <laughs>